Hello everyone, me Max here and today I want to talk about hashtag Xbox or we riot. Now, this is something that has been going on for the past week now as we all found out that Activision is no longer in business with Xbox when it comes to Call of Duty, MLG and all that DLC stuff since, well, the Xbox One isn't doing too great if you haven't noticed yet. Now, Xbox fanboys are getting pissed and, you know, they're saying hashtag Xbox will be right. It's, it went viral for a while, but nobody really cared anymore. But still, it's still a big thing. Hashtag Xbox will be right. You people really think that Activision cares about your stupid loyalty. All they care about is your money. And they're going where the money is. Alright? The PlayStation 4 has doubled the sales of the Xbox One. So when you look at it at the business standpoint, it's really kind of stupid for Activision to stay with Xbox when they have half the sales of the PlayStation 4. I mean, even despite this, you know, because their contract last like ended last year with uh, Advanced Warfare, and despite had them having all that contract stuff, Call of Duty still sold more on the PlayStation, even though Xbox got the DLCs first, all the all the additional content, every single thing, the MLG, you know, presented by Xbox, this Xbox, that Xbox, that. Call of Duty Xbox. Everything with Call of Duty just had an Xbox logo right beside it. But yet, the game still sold more on PlayStation. So, <laughs> just use your brain, please, and stop. Like, I'll take all that fanboy stuff and just, just throw it to the side and just, just toss it. Just, you know, just go to burn it right now because it's, it's pretty much useless. Because a lot of people are letting the fanboyism blind them from seeing what, you know, the truth. And that, that that shows what a fanboy is. They showed a fanboy is someone that you know that that uses their bias to blind you know that lets their bias blind them from seeing what is true and you know like actually using their brain and thinking logically. So yeah, please just stop this stop the stupidity because it's not like Xbox is not getting the game. You know they're still getting the game. You're just getting the DLC and the beta late, a month late. And PlayStation has been doing that for years now. The last time. PlayStation, a PlayStation branding was ever at the side of a Call of Duty game was Black Ops 1, and that came out in 2010, that's five years ago, alright? And I'm pretty sure if no one complained about getting DLC late when you guys got DLC first, why are you acting so childish now that you're getting DLC late, alright? And now, and then they're saying, oh, Activision betrayed us, Treyarch betrayed us. Okay, first of all, Treyarch is not the, de they're, not, they're not the publisher, they're the developer, they don't decide, you know, who to go with. All they do is make the game and make it as fun as possible and then Activision decides who to go with. And then people are saying Activision betrayed you. They didn't betray you. No. They just made a smarter decision by going where the money is. And if the money is on play it's just over there PlayStation and they, you know, they have more sales, it, it, it would be dumb to, you know, to sign another contract with Microsoft. Because honestly, there's no, there's no point in saying that they betrayed you. Because honestly, the only person you could say betrayed you is Microsoft. Because Sony had the money to fund the game and they, they went for it. Microsoft could have done the same thing too, but they didn't do it. Why? First of all, this, their sales are terrible, and the only reason they have terrible sales is because it's their fault for adver for doing so many terrible things with the Xbox One. So, you know, just overall, in general, the only person you can you could say betrayed you is Microsoft for not doing such a great job with the Xbox One, and just deal with it, honestly. Just deal with it. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Just rate it or whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. You neutralize zone B.